Good afternoon, everyone. Let me introduce uh, Dr. Justin Chiu. He's a member of the uh, com uh, Managing Committee of and Executive Director of Chang Kong Group. Uh, Justin has been uh, in the industry for 40 years plus, yeah. and uh, he's been in Hong Kong and various countries. He also the um, a fellow member of the Royal Institution of Charles Surveyors, and also the, the um, honorable um, board member of the uh, British uh, Hong Kong Bishop College uh, University of uh, Hong Kong. And uh, yeah. Justin holds a, a, a bachelor degree of arts in sociology and economics, mm -hmm. and also he's uh, conferred uh, two doctor degrees, <laughs> one from uh, uh, Hong Kong and run from uh, Trent University of, of uh, Canada. Canada. Mm -hmm. So the, this is uh, Dr. Chiu. Um, May, uh, Marina Bay Financial Center is the, the winner, the gold, gold winner of the best, best mixed use project in Asia and uh, it back in the Midland Asia 2010 and also the, the, uh, the People's Choice Award. Uh, it's a very interesting um, and also one of the best projects in Asia. And uh, can you share with us, because you have three partners in yeah. this project, yeah. including Chang Kong Holdings mm -hmm. and Hong Kong Land, mm -hmm. and also Capital Land from Singapore. So we have three partners mm -hmm. from Hong Kong, UK, and Singapore. How do you manage uh, the three work together in this uh, very big scale, mixed use project in, in Singapore? Yeah, uh, thank you, Francis. Uh, uh, actually, the Marinda Bay Financial Center is one of the biggest or largest project development projects in Singapore, mm -hmm. and um, well, it houses more than four million square feet. Wow. You see. Uh, at that time, though, when the three of us came together, actually we had a joint venture before that. That was in the One Raffles Key or mm -hmm. Q, also also in the Marinda Bay area. That was our first project. So, uh, we shared. Uh, a very good vision, common vision, that, that we want to build the future of Singapore. So that's why when we first started uh, on the Marina Bay Financial Centre, we shared the common vision that uh, we will have the workspace in the future. Mm. Uh, we also need to develop a future community, a community in the future, and also let people experience experience of the future. That is very important. So we three of the three partners share the common vision, and that is why you know, we can get along very well. You know, in the past, I would say more than fifteen years now on this project, because right now we are still managing the project ourselves. We have the uh, Raffles Key Management Asset Management Company, which is also a joint venture between the three companies. Mm. So we are still managing, and we want the occupants there to, to really experience the uh, future. Of Singapore, well, uh, definitely uh, we the three companies come from the three different cultural background. Now we are from Hong Kong, yep. and uh, Hong Kong then is Hong Kong, but they are more more or less in Singapore they call them Amo. Amo means European or you no know, foreigners or white people, mm -hmm. and then the um, in Singapore we have Capital Land. So we are slightly different cultural background, but I think for any joint venture partnership, it's most important thing is you share the same vision as I said just now, and then we have the mutual respect. Mm. You need to respect your partners, so that you know, uh, because every party has their own contributions mm. to the joint venture, to the success of the joint venture. So need, you need to respect them, respect the idea, uh, respect you know, how they look at things, and then we can discuss. Definitely, it's not 100% we agree on everything. Mm. There are always problems or small uh, disagreements that come up. You know, but we need we can sit down and then discuss because we have to show our respect to the other people's uh, contributions and their views, and then we also need to have the um, mutual trust. I think that is important mm. because for any joint venture partner, if you don't share the mutual trust, that there's no way for the partnership to continue. You, you you have hard feelings from time to time, and you may become suspicious so to speak, on your partners, whether why they don't want to do this, do they have any selfish interests? But in our joint venture partnership, three of us, you know, we never have any suspicion over any others. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, uh, on in the construction side, we comfortably leave it to Capital Land yeah. because they know Singapore very well. Right? Uh, we are from Hong Kong, we cannot claim we know Singapore regulations 
uh, we know Singapore authorities, no? but in capital land, they know them very well. So we completely uh, uh, give the duties to, to Hong Kong land, and then for some, in some of the technical issues, we respect the, um, the experience of Hong Kong land. Mm. So that's why uh, in some of the design, for example, then you know, we really respect uh, Hong Kong land's contributions and their suggestions. Uh, that is why you know, in, in facing out the MBS, MBFC, uh, we have the residential first, and then the commercial box, and then also the um, another residential part component. Uh, before we finish the retail portion. Mm. So that's why on all these phases, the three partners sit down together and discuss together, and then we share the common vision that you know, we want to build the future of the community. I think that is important. So the, in the foreseeable future, do you see, do you see that uh, the three parties or the three partners will come together again to do another project? Oh, definitely. No, actually, uh, after the MBFC project, so we came together and tended for another process in Singapore, no? but uh, we were not successful. Uh, uh, well, because other people offer a higher price for it. Uh, but definitely in future, no, we will find ways that so that we can work together again. You see. Uh, MBFC is one of the most successful joint venture secret group has. You see. Mm. And also, I heard also from Hong Kong Land and Capital Land because that was a success, uh, that is a successful project and we, uh, we all make a lot of money, you see, we are happy with it. So apart from Singapore, do you think uh, the three partners would say, come to another country and cities to mm. take another mega project well, in Asia? It depends on opportunities, you see. Because right now, I think the composition is good uh, because uh, we have a very good uh, local partner, the Capital Land, and Hong Kong Land also knows Singapore very well. Mm. And for the CK Group, we have been in Singapore for more, more, more than 30 years, so we also know a bit of Singapore. That's why we can share uh, common knowledge and we can share common vision on the future of Singapore. But if you go to another place like, uh, for example, Cambodia, which is very hot right now, mm -hmm. uh, I, th I think we, also, we might also need to look for another local partner mm. before we can really follow the joint venture partnership. But whether the new partnership, so to speak, can work then, it really depends on whether we, at that time, if we can share also the same vision, uh, same mutual respect, and also the same mutual trust. Yeah, and uh, I have uh, another question mm. previously uh, asked uh, by Christine, who asked me, uh, given the current situation in, in Hong Kong, a global under the pandemic, what's the best investment opportunity available to us, especially for us in Hong Kong? Well, definitely, you know, if you're talking about Hong Kong, no, I, I advise you don't only look at Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. In Hong Kong, uh, uh, in, in, within the CK group, uh, we don't really uh, look at it as Hong Kong anymore. We look at the Greater Bay Area mm -hmm. because the 9 plus 2, this is a Greater Bay Area. It's a, it's, well, we'll, it's a very uh, important economic momentum. In future, I think in the next 20 years ago, year or so, this will be become one of the world's center of attraction, mm -hmm. uh, people should go. So if you want to uh, invest now, I would recommend you go to the Greater Bay Area. Mm. Personally, I would say personally, I would prefer the uh, western part of the Greater Bay Area, like Zhuhai, Zhaoxing, and, you know, and, you know, and Zhongshan, uh, because it's less developed. Okay. Uh, the, uh, western part is very developed. Uh, and the eastern part, Zhuhai, Chungsan, and Zhaoxing, is uh, less developed, but I think they are coming up. Okay, very good advice. Yeah. And, uh, because of the western part of Chu, the Pearl River Delta, I think it's uh, still mm -hmm. under, under development. Uh, actually, you know, we don't talk about the Pearl River Delta anymore. Yeah. It's always Greater, Greater Bay, Bay Area. area. That's important. GBA, I mean, the, the, the whole concept needs to change. Yeah. It's a Greater Bay Area, yeah. nine plus two cities, you see. Yeah. So, so I, will, I will concentrate on the, well, uh, Opportunities in Chungsan, Zhuhai, Zhaoxing, and all that because they are right, right now they are less developed, but I think they were coming up. Yeah. So apart from uh, Hong Kong and GBA, how about the rest of Asia? Any any uh, advice for us? Mm, well, the rest of Asia really depends on the 
uh, how far they can control the pandemic situation. Right now, I think Singapore is, they have controlled it very well. So Singapore will be one of the first countries mm. that they will come back, you see. But in some other countries, you know, they are still facing difficulties. But once you have the social distance, once, once, once you have all these um, control measures in place, then it's difficult for the economy to develop. And uh, that will practically kill all economic activities. Mm. So you did mention about the opportunity in Southeast Asia. Uh, mm. Do you think uh, your group to invest down south? Uh, well, depends on opportunities. If mm -hmm. there's good opportunities coming up, why not? You see? I think this, well, as a, as a big group, you know, like ours, you know, we only go for opportunities. So yep. Whenever there's opportunities, we'll just go ahead. You know, we don't confine ourselves to any geographical location, or we don't uh, confine ourselves to any countries as such. You see, you look for opportunities. Yeah, that's a very good advice. Yeah. Uh, follow the opportunity, right? Rather than fix your destination. Yeah, because if the, the world is changing fast, you see. Yep. There are opportunities coming up every now and then, any any place, anywhere. So that's why we, you have to be on your toes all the time. You know, try to search for opportunities and try to pick up more context. Right now, due to the pandemic situation, we cannot travel, but we can still do it by Zoom. Zoom mm. meetings, that's mm. not what, what we are doing today. You know. Technology has overcome part of the problem that yeah. we, can, we cannot meet face to face, but definitely uh, business shall carry on. Yep, you're perfectly right about that. And thank you very much, mm -hmm. Dr. Chiu, and, then, uh, and thank you very much for, for your participation to this uh, interview, which is uh, very, very good uh, for, for you to catch up with us. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.